Hey guys, this is Sheen. Welcome to another video and today I have an easy diatonic chord progression for you guys with interesting chord voicings that you can incorporate into your playing. So you guys have asked me to always give you a theoretical explanation of the leaks and progressions that I'm showing you, so um, I'm not the biggest theory guy, so I'm just gonna explain it really simple so you know how to use these progressions and leaks in your playing. So in this case we basically have a standard easy diatonic chord progression in the key of E major, so E major is our tonic chord, and we start off with the four chord which is a major 7 chord, in this case an A major 7 chord. And then we go to the 3 chord, which is a G sharp minor 7 chord. And then we go to the 2 chord, which is a minor chord as well. In this case we're playing a minor 9 chord. Typical on the um, chord voicing, sounds really open and cool. And before we go to this lick, uh, to this chord actually, we play a really cool kind of new soulish um, transition that I came up with. Um, sounds like this. And especially these two chords sound pretty cool in my opinion. So we start off with that typical neo soul lick. We're just using the chord shape of the um, minor 9 chord right there and at first a minor 11 chord, so basically C sharp, minor 11, minor 9, which works perfectly over the key of E major. And then um, we play these two chords I showed you. And as you can hear, this this chord really resolves really nicely to the um, two chord, to the F sharp minor nine chord. So I basically just look at the first chord as a chord voicing, as a minor nine chord voicing, a F sharp minor nine chord voicing with a fifth on top. And the second chord voicing, I basically always use this chord um, for as a substitute for major seven chord. So you could use this chord um, for major chord for E major chord. So if you're playing an E major chord, you could use this chord as an extension, for example. But it just goes really nicely. Um, with this minor 9 chord voicing we played before. I think these go really well together. And in the context, because we're going to the F minor 9 chord actually, F sharp minor 9 chord, this chord would rather be a... this, this is the sound we're creating. 
So it's basically we have the minor um, minor seven right there. Um, we have the elevens. We have the root note right here, the F sharp. And then we actually have the 13 on top. So the next chord we're gonna play um, is the five chord, which is the dominant chord in the major key. And we play a typical chord, um, dominant 11 chord in this case. And then we just slide down with our first finger one fret, we just go down to the major third which is a typical kind of neo soul guitar movement because it resolves really nicely to the tonic. But in this case, um, we're not going to the tonic. We actually play the lick and start over the chord progression again. go to a 4 chord again, but in this case we are um, playing a major 9 chord instead of a major 7 chord. Going to the 3 chord again, and then we play a little diminished lick. So, diminished chords are just perfect for transitions because they have big tension um, to them and they are basically just consisting of stacked um, minor thirds and you basically good way to think about um, the Mish chord is just that we kind of want to incorporate a um, harmonic minor sound um, which has a lot of tension to our chord progression so we basically always play um, a diminished chord just um, a half tone below the chord we want to land on so if we want to in this case we want to go to our second chord which is a F sharp minor chord so we play the diminished chord just one fret below because we have that major seven right there to kind of create a um, harmonic minor sound and because this chord just consists of stacked thirds you can just play this lick every third fret thirds then we go to our five chord again dominant 11 chord and then uh, we play a pretty interesting chord substitute that um, just found out that we can use. We play the two chord again, but we actually play a minus six chord because we have the six right here. And in my opinion, this resolves really nicely um, to the tonic. I think it's a pretty cool trick. Right there. So basically, um, do not think about this chord as a second chord. I rather think about this chord as a chord substitute for the five chord, for um, the dominant chord. I really hope you enjoyed that lesson and if you want to see more videos like that, feel free to subscribe to my channel and please do me a favor and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on my content.